Today, I am super excited to announce our sponsorship with Kenwood Amateur Radios. They've provided us with two D72 handy talkies, and they also provided us with a D710GA mobile unit for the van. Both of these have APRS enabled, which is super cool. In addition to sending packets, it can also send position info. So we can track where our friends are that have these as well. And if Teresa's out in town and I'm back at the Airstream, we can talk to each other and I can pull up a map and see exactly where she is. We think that's a great safety feature. We think it's fun and we think it's a great way for other RVers to stay in contact with each other. I'm really excited about this radio. This is the cream of the crop. If I could have any ham radio in the world, this is the one that I would pick. So it has three parts. This is the main radio, the transceiver and the amplifier. It's all in here. Then we have the face plate or the head unit, which is connected to that with a remote wire. So I can control that from somewhere else, like up here on the dash while this is tucked somewhere else. And then we have the microphone, which also controls. I can input channels and stuff on there and access the menu from that. So we're gonna be installing these three things today. I've been spending the last couple hours deciding where I wanna put the operation panel. And you know, there's lots of places I could put it. I was thinking of putting it in here, which would be cool. We could both see it, but then it'd get hit with keys and things we put in here. I was thinking of putting it over here left of the driver, but then Teresa couldn't see it or change things if she needed to. And I'm still got a wire heading out there. It's gonna put it down here under the steering wheel. I thought about putting it in here, but then the gear shifter hit it. I could mount it up in here, but then that's too far of a reach. So I've decided to put it right here. So it's I still have plenty of visibility. Teresa and I can both see it. It's not blocking any controls and I can still grab my shifter. The operation panel comes with a little bracket, slides on here, and then another adapter here with a sticky back and some holes to screw it in, and it can adjust the mount, the angle that it's at. I'm going to be putting it up here, but as you can see, this mount is a little too big, so I'm going to be trimming that down and screwing it in. I'll probably be cutting it, drilling a couple holes, making it fit perfectly right in here. Safety first, kids, and this isn't the safe way to do it. I'm at my brother's house, I have limited tools. This is what we're doing. Perfect. Okay, I've trimmed down the bracket. Now I'm gonna center it here. Make sure it's all aligned before I drill three holes. I'm just gonna drill one. And we'll go from there. Right over here. It kills me to drill into the dash. But my friend once told me, in order to modify your vehicle, you have to modify your vehicle. I'm not putting the sticky tape on yet. I'm just kind of marking where this needs to be. Between the tape and the screws, that's not going anywhere. All right, here it is installed. I really like that location. I can tilt it up and down if needed. It might vibrate a little. I'll consider sinking it back in a little more, but that'd require drilling some holes. I'm not sure I wanna do that for quarter inch closer to that, so. I think I'm gonna call that good for now. The faceplate or operation panel controls the radio via a cord. It's like a big SAT5 cable, like an internet cable, ethernet cable. The one end goes into here, the other end in goes into your radio. <coughs> and then your radio also accepts 
your microphone cable. That means I can't mount this like at the very back of the van because I've got to be able to reach it with my microphone. I wonder if there's like a little extension that I could extend this, but I think I'll have no problem finding a place to mount this. That's the next challenge, finding a place to mount the actual radio where the speaker can be heard and where I can still reach it with the microphone. Now with this doghouse here, whenever they do an oil change or take the motor apart, they pull that off. And if there's wire sticking out, that might be a problem. So I'm gonna try and find a place up inside the dash for this. That will be my next challenge. But we're running out of time today, so I'm gonna save that for another day.